She was a preteen out doing what teenagers do, going to the corner store to get a soda. She was preyed on by two illegal Venezuelan immigrants. He crossed the border three times, was sent back. The fourth time, he was a gotaway. After he murdered my daughter, he stayed in the same town where he murdered her, continued to work in restaurants. We're letting everything through the border because we're not checking them. And you're victimizing citizens, you're victimizing immigrants alike. We're not against immigration, we're against unvetted immigration. This is not a political issue, this is a safety issue for everyone here living in the United States. Not only was Kayla's life put at risk and taken, so many other children and adults were at risk. The Biden-Harris administration is not putting the American citizen safety first. We want to introduce you to one of the parents who just wrapped up gut-wrenching testimony on Capitol Hill on the open southern border's impact on her family. Tammy Nobles lost her daughter, Kayla Marie, to an MS-13 gang member from El Salvador who took her life back in July of 2022. Tammy says that DHS failed her family. Let's bring in Kayla's mom, Tammy Nobles, right now. Tammy, it's such a, a horrible thing that happened to your daughter, yet you tell the story again and again and again, trying to bring attention to it. Why did you feel compelled to join those other parents who suffered the same tragedy in Congress today? I want everyone to know what is happening at the border, that every all the um, ones that are coming here illegally are not being background checked or mm. vetted. They are just letting every... I mean, they are just letting anyone in. I have been fighting for this for over, um, ever since I, you know, Kayla was murdered. I have been fighting for this for uh, um, over two years. You know, when you look at the timeline of the illegal immigrant who murdered your beautiful young daughter, it really is unbelievable to see what happened. March of 2022, he entered the U.S. illegally through Texas as an unaccompanied minor, was apprehended by Border Patrol and sent to live with a sponsor in Maryland. Uh, he then moved to a mobile home in Aberdeen, Maryland, where Kayla was killed. He was then placed in foster care as police awaited DNA results. He was actually enrolled at a local high school. Then he was arrested after the DNA results came back. He pleaded guilty to murder and was sentenced to 70 years in jail. Where do you even begin, Tammy, to pull back the layers of how DHS failed you and your daughter? There is so many layers and so many failures in her case from start to finish. Um, Child Protective Services did not let the Aberdeen Police Department know that they put him in an unsecured children's home. They did not let the police know that they moved him from the group home to a foster home and enrolled him in high school with other children. And, and Tammy, what do you want to hear in tonight's debate about this, this so very important border issue? I want to hear about the changes that they're going to make. How are they going to um, have American citizen safety first? We are not being put first. Our safety is at risk. And I want changes and I want answers and accountability. You know, it, the way that the hearing unfolded today, today it really, there was one moment that was really quite surprising, and I couldn't quite figure out why it happened, where one Democrat accused you and your fellow parents of, of being politically manipulated and exploited. L listen to this exchange here. It's a little bit long, but it's very important. I think what is most frustrating to me as a member of Congress is what is happening today at this committee hearing where we have colleagues who are you exploiting people's pain for political purposes. Ms. Nobles, did Republicans on this committee, Ms. Nobles, Republicans on this committee or any of uh, Republican staff exploit you in any way to come to today's hearing? No, I, w I am not being forced to be here. I am here because I want to be here and I want changes to be made. No, I don't feel exploited. You're here to tell you. I don't feel exploited in any way. You said some very broad statements. It's insulting. These people lost loved ones. They lost children. And we want to see a difference. We may not understand everything that's going on, but I assure you that we're not being used in any way. 
Tammy, what do you say to members of Congress who, who look at what happened today, look at you trying to get some sort of change, been going through this horror again and again and again, and they claim that you're being politically exploited? Every time I come up here to Congress, the Democrat always brings up that it's a political stunt, that we're just being brought here, you know, just to be exploited. And nobody is forcing any of us to be here. They are not forcing me to be here. I want to be here because I want to bring awareness on what is happening and I want change. I'm doing this for Kayla and for others living here in the United States. You know, when you, I want to put up a graphic of your, your beautiful daughter, Kayla, and seven other young women and boys who, who were brutally murdered by or, or otherwise uh, affected by illegal immigrants. And, and when you put up those faces of people who are either no longer with us or have suffered intolerably, for, for someone to say, look, this is all politics, but what do you say to that, that accusation? It is, it is not a political issue. It is a safety issue. These illegal immigrants who are criminals aren't coming here to attack a certain um, political stance. They don't care if you're a Republican. They don't care if you're a Democrat. Mm -hmm. They don't care where you're from. They're, they are targeting anyone they can. Tammy, we thank you for joining us. We mourn your loss. We pray for your family. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.